What's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resize your video files. So the first step you want to do is go ahead and download Filmora. You can find it at filmora.wondershare.com. Resizing your videos can mean two things. One is to visually change the look of the video, and one is to change the actual file size of your video in terms of megabytes or gigabytes. I'm going to show you how to do both. First, I will show you how to resize the look of the video. This is commonly referred to as cropping. So you can go ahead and import your media files. You can do that by clicking on import, and then select import media files. Then select the files that you want to import and hit OK. To resize a video, you will want to select the clip that you want to resize, and then click on the crop and pan tool in the timeline tools. In this video clip, I want to try and make everything look more centered. I can do that by grabbing the top left corner of the crop and dragging inwards. The screen on the right will show you what the video will look like once it is cropped. Hit OK when you are happy with the area that you would like to have cropped out and it will update in the timeline. So that's how to resize the image of your video clip. Now if you want to resize the video file in terms of megabytes or gigabytes, then you can do that by changing the export settings. Before you export your video, you should know what the original settings of your video are. You can do that by right clicking on a video file in the media panel and selecting properties. This is where you can find out what the resolution and the bitrate are. These are two important numbers that will help you change the size of your file. This number here represents the resolution of your video, and this number represents the bitrate. Write down the resolution and bitrate so you can remember what they are. If you have a video that is ready to be exported, then you can go ahead and click on export. Now you can see what your file size is going to be by looking at this number here. The first thing that is going to determine the file size of your video will be which format you use. The most common one to use is MP4, so I recommend using that unless someone specifically asks you to use a different format. Select your format and then click on the settings. There are three options that you can change which will increase or decrease the size of your video file. The resolution and the bitrate on the video and the audio can change the file size of your video. Now I know that my original video files have a resolution of 1920 by 1080 so if I wanted to decrease the file size of my video then I could lower the resolution. I am going to change it to 1280 by 720. What this does is it decreases the number of pixels in your video. The next thing you can do is change the bitrate. If you need to decrease the size of your video file even further then you could always set the bitrate lower. However, you could start to notice that your video is starting to lose quality. The last thing you can do to change the size of your video file is to change the audio bitrate. Changing this setting will only make a small difference in the size of your file. Once you have selected your settings, then you can go ahead and hit export. There you have it. Those are the options you have when you want to resize your video in Filmora.